in the previous classes we have been discussing about binomial distribution now we move on to poisson distribution which is a limiting case of binomial distribution that is we consider a sequence of independent bernoulli trials that is the trials resulting in a success or failure respectively now we consider the case en tending to infinity that is as the number of repetitions increase okay and the probability of a success be being very small so that we may assume n p equal to lambda a constant that is a discrete random variable forms a poisson distribution under the condition such that n tends to infinity p tends to zero so that n p equal to lambda a constant these are the conditions that binomial distribution tends to poisson distribution now we define a a poisson random variable that is a discrete random variable x is said to follow poisson distribution with the parameter lambda a discrete random variable is said to follow a poisson distribution with the parameter lambda that is we may write x follows p lambda if its probability mass function as that is f of x as implies f of x equal to okay the function as e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial x equal to 0 1 2 etc up to infinity we consider the infinite number of trans okay and lambda is greater than 0 so a random variable x which is discrete it is said to follow poisson with a parameter lambda if f of x is e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial x equal to 0 1 etc to infinity lambda greater than 0 binomial distribution tends to poisson distribution under the conditions under the conditions the conditions are under the conditions number 1 n tends to infinity number 2 p tends to zero probability of a success being very small and number 3 n p equal to lambda a constant okay it is finite n p equal to lambda is a finite constant if constant and it is finite these are the conditions under which binomial distribution tends to poisson distribution now we may obtain the moment generating function of the poisson distribution and from the function from the moment generating function we may derive the mean and variance of the distribution so that we derive the mgf which is mg is the moment generating function moment generating function that is mtx is expectation of e raised to tx mtx is expectation of e raised to tx so that this is what is it sigma for the discrete random variable sigma over x e raised to tx into f of x m t x equal to expectation of e raised to t x equal to sigma over x e raised to t x into f of x so that we may substitute for poisson distribution sigma x equal to 0 to infinity isn't it 
e raised to t x into now what about the pdf f of x simply e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial then how we can simplify this e raised to minus lambda can be taken out okay and uh, this becomes sigma x equal to 0 to infinity these two terms can be combined as lambda e raised to t whole raised to x by x factorial isn't it lambda e raised to t whole raised to x by x factorial so we can expand the sigma e raised to minus lambda into putting x equal to 0 we get lambda e raised to t whole raised to 0 which is 1 by 0 factorial we know it has it to be 1 so that we may write this as 1 1 plus lambda e raised to t by 1 factorial isn't it lambda e raised to t whole raised to 1 by 1 factorial plus lambda e raised to t whole square by 2 factorial plus etc up to infinity okay and we have a result e raised to x. We have e raised to x equal to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus etc up to infinity. The general term being x raised to r by r factorial plus etc up to infinity. We may write this as sigma r equal to 0 to infinity x raised to r by r factorial. Okay. This is e raised to x. So, what is this one? M t x as equal to, we can write here, that is we get M t x as equal to e raised to minus lambda M t x as equal to e raised to minus lambda into what is this e raised to in place of x we have uh, here it is lambda e raised to t isn't it can be simplified as e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1 that is m t x for Poisson distribution which is the MGF of x is e raised to, okay, e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1, e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1. Now, from the moment generating function, we may obtain the min, the min is mu 1 dash which is the expectation of x. Okay. It is the mean. So, how it is obtained? It is equal to d by dt of m t x up to t equal to 0. d by dt of m t x up to t equal to 0 gives me 1 dash. Okay. So, here equal to implies me 1 dash equal to d by dt of e raised to lambda into e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1 up to t equal to 0 isn't it d by dt of lambda into Sorry, d by dt of e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1 at to t equal to 0. So that we get simple differentiation, isn't it? d by dx of e raised to x is e raised to x itself. As it is a function of function, this we, we obtain it as equal to, what is it? e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1 into this function derivative lambda e raised to t at to t equal to 0. Okay. 
we may formulate this as lambda e raised to we rearrange the terms lambda e raised to t into e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1 at to t equal to 0 simply okay what it is obtained lambda into now we may put t equal to 0 e raised to 0 into e raised to lambda into e raised to 0 minus 1. We know e raised to 0 equal to 1. So that implies may 1 dash equal to lambda into 1 into what is this e raised to 0 1. So that this is e raised to 0. That is lambda into 1 equal to lambda. Okay. That is mean equal to 4 pi on distribution. Mean equal to expectation of x equal to lambda 4 pi on distribution. Mean equal to expectation of x equal to lambda. We are uh, discussing the mean and variance of Poisson using the moment generating function. Okay. So that may 1 dash equal to expectation of x equal to d by dt of m t x at t t equal to 0. And we have obtained it as equal to lambda. Now we find. Okay. Now we find. Mean 2 dash. From the MGF. So how it is obtained? The formula is mu 2 dash equal to d square by dt square of MTX at t equal to 0, isn't it? d square by dt square of MTX at t equal to 0. So that the second derivative means derivative of the first one. So, d by dt of, what is the first derivative of this function? Lambda e raised to t into e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1 up to t equal to 0. And this is a product function, okay? We may take lambda outside. So, lambda into First function e raised to t into derivative of second. We have already this one. e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1 into derivative of this is lambda e raised to t. Okay. Then plus second function e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1 into derivative of the first e raised to t itself. Okay. At to t equal to 0. Isn't it? Yes. Now, simply we may we may put t equal to 0. So that this is lambda into we know e raised to 0 is 1 into and we have e raised to 0 1 minus 1 0 e raised to 0 that is 1 into lambda into e raised to 0 is 1 isn't it? Here it is e raised to 0 plus e raised to 0 1 into 1 that is simply we have lambda into lambda plus 1 equal to lambda square plus lambda as mu 2 dash. We may write that is we have mu 1 dash equal to lambda mu 1 dash. We have mu 1 dash equal to lambda and mu 2 dash equal to lambda square plus lambda. Okay. So that the formula for variance is mu 2 equal to variance of x equal to mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash square mu 2 equal to mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash square. So becomes lambda square plus lambda minus lambda square equal to lambda. 
That is variance of x equal to lambda. Now we have a wonderful result. What is it? For Poisson distribution, that is for Poisson distribution mean equal to variance equal to lambda. Mean equal to variance equal to lambda for Poisson distribution. Okay. And uh, uh, so we have obtained the MGF and from the MGF we have the mean and variance. And uh, we conclude this session by considering the PDF that is x follows p lambda if f of x equal to e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial x equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. up to infinity lambda greater than 0 lambda is the parameter of Poisson distribution. Okay. Now, we consider binomial tending to Poisson. Binomial distribution tends to Poisson distribution under the conditions n tends to infinity, p tends to 0 and n p equal to lambda is finite which is a constant. Okay. We have the MGF of Poisson distribution as MTX equal to the function as be very careful it is e raised to okay lambda into e raised to t minus 1 you should write we should write it as e raised to mtx equal to e raised to lambda into e raised to t minus 1 and we have from the mgf we have mu 1 dash which is derived by d by dt of mtx up to t equal to 0 and we have it as equal to lambda which is the parameter of Poisson distribution mu 2 dash equal to lambda square plus lambda so that mu 2 equal to variance of x equal to mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash square we have obtained it as again equal to lambda that is mean equal to variance equal to lambda for Poisson distribution and we have mean equal to variance equal to lambda now, what about standard deviation? It is a very important measure. Standard deviation of x is root of variance of x. Okay. Root of variance of x. So, equal to root lambda for Poisson distribution. Remember, mean equal to variance equal to lambda and standard deviation equal to root lambda for Poisson distribution with parameter lambda. Okay. We will continue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.